All right, here we go with another tutorial slash uh, walkthrough um, of the Farce Riders. Uh, so here I'm doing some Stormcast Eternals, gonna do them mostly in contrast paints, doing sort of a non-metallic metal look. Um, putting some Gracier over top of a white primer uh, that I just use a rattle can for. So Gracier going on there with the airbrush, just to give myself a nice base for the contrast paints. Nasdreg Yellow, putting that on liberally everywhere that's gonna be gold armor. And uh, yeah, so this is a really quick and easy way of doing a non-metallic metal on some of your Stormcast Eternals. St Screaming Skull dry brush over top of all the armor just to pick out some of the sharp edges with a, a nice sort of an off-white. And I'm gonna do a little bit more shading of this a little later. Gorgonta fur on the top half of these cloaks here. And I'm gonna do a bit of a wet blend into a Saigor brown. Um, so as I've finished painting that, going straight on with the Saigor brown at the bottom, and kind of uh, doing a little bit of a blend there with a the brush as I paint it on. Um, just the way the contrast paints works, it's kind of a wet blend, it works out really well. Blood Angels Red on the plumes, and I think I do a second coat of this uh, off camera just to get it a bit more of a rich red. I didn't, uh, didn't love how it came out the first go. Pterodon Turquoise for the eagle here, and just painting that all over everything. Uh, I'm not too worried about adding extra detail to this. Um, this is a really quick uh, paint job on these guys. It gets a really nice tabletop level. Not going to win any awards with it, I don't think, but um, a really quick and easy way to paint up some Stormcast Eternals. Ultramarine blue um, contrast on those uh, leather bands, whatever they are. So now what I'm doing is using Agrax Earthshade to add a bit more shadow to the uh, Nasdra yellow. So I'm painting this in and around any of the parts where they would recess just adding a bit more depth. This is gonna be a darker color here, um, and being a wash, it kind of helps stay in the recesses, and uh, yeah, it just adds a bit more contrast to this gold, non-metallic look. Um, now, the ultramarine blue that I did, I didn't bother base coating underneath, or uh, the, uh, the grace here, so some of it ha is already gold, and so I'm just using the layer paints to kind of cover that up and uh, help make it look nice, like a nice blue and then doing a final edge highlight it with the Hoeth Blue. And you can tell by the length of this video that this is a pretty quick paint job. Um, these guys painted up very fast, like kind of two afternoons sort of a thing, um, in not rushing anything by any means. Doing Apothecary White on the underside of their cloaks, some black Templar details on the guns, and I didn't bother touching up any of the uh, the stuff there because it's a nice dark color, covers pretty well. Um, if I had done a nice base coat of it, on, you know, of the gray seer underneath that, it might have done a bit more contrast. Basilicanum gray on the swords and and axe hand or axe blades, that sort of thing, and a little bit of this pink on the handles. And that's just to give it sort of a leather look. Some Saigor brown on the belts and uh, joints in the armor. This helps uh, bring out some of the, the different panels, makes them look a little bit more separated. And doing some quick highlights on this eagle here, some Sotek green. Just bringing up some of the edge, uh, the sharp edges on the feathers and stuff like that. Temple Guard green uh, for a final highlight. And a little bit of uh, light gray um, on the inside of the cloaks just to help uh, even out the paint there. Um, just It's not really a focal point, but this just helps touch up some of the stuff that uh, didn't look great after the contrast was on. And there you go. These guys are done. Very fast and easy. Uh, painted up the bases separately using mostly uh, contrast paints. I'm um, not really going to go over that right now. You can do that however you like. But uh, yeah, this is a nice quick and easy way of doing non-metallic metal for Stormcast Eternals. And uh, for a tabletop level, it turned out really quickly. You can turn these guys out very fast and uh, decent decent looking. Looks good sort of at um, tabletop distance, you know, arm's length sort of a thing. And uh, I'm happy with the result. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and uh, maybe leave a comment or a like or something like that. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this and see you next time.